One of these two. Yes, I know, I watched this a picture for me. Why do they do that? They do it with you. <laughs> Pick one up. Like, um, I've never seen an animal that connects as much with a human and knows the different emotions. Uh, like dog, a dog is a close one, but just the, how, the way they can tell what you're thinking and interact like with you. Like birds in general, or the species? Um, a lot of birds, but mostly like a parrot and a bigger, more pretty bird. Uh, the birds of paradise. Attach really well with the human, uh, they like mate, they lock on to one person for life, and they get really depressed when they die. Yeah. They know that. I, I appreciate them from afar, but like, just them biting me, like, freak me out. Yeah, they, they could bite, but they don't bite. Yeah. No, they can't, especially if you work with them from a young age, but so, like, I've met some birds who are like, oh, yeah. older and they bite Especially with older birds like this, when they have one owner, they're going to be alive. They're generally not too nice to other people. It's usually about that one owner. This one tried to open its mouth on me. Yeah, he's not trying to bite you. He might just think it's beak. A lot of times, also, they use their beak as like a hook to climb stuff. They just stick it on stuff and climb. That is so cool. And is this, how do you know if male or female? I do not, they have to be DNA tested. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you don't, you don't, you can't tell You anything. cannot tell. Like and, even when they're adults? Um, the only way you'd be able to tell is with breeding activity. And then what is, so these are, these are called? Sun conures. Sun conures. Mm -hmm. Where are they from? I'm not sure. I, I, I want to say South America. I assume somewhere in South America. How oh, great. Look at you guys. Where's your little foot? Let me see your little band. So he's for sale, this okay. one. Alright, thank you for You're welcome, man. showing me these beautiful sun couture's.